What's up, YouTube? This is the story of how my brother and I said yes, stepped out of our comfort zone, and had a legendary time with 60 strangers from all over the United States and Canada in our nation's capital of Washington, D.C. Double pistols. Double pistols. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait till I send this to you. But first, let me take you back. Whoa, not that far back. There we go. Well, my name is Richard, and this is my brother, Bill. And together, we decided we wanted to start making videos. You see, our mom died in December, but she left behind a legacy of love, adventure, and the need to spread those to the world. I've always been an avid watcher of the likes of Anthony Bourdain, Nas Daily, and of course Yes Theory. And with my mom's passing, one thing that we certainly learned is that life is far too short to do anything but attempt the highest possible good and positivity you can. Myself being an avid traveler and having wanderlust since I was a young age, and my brother always curious about new things and meeting new people we decided to go for it. And when we heard that the Yes Fam, an amazing group of people who follow the Yes Theory on YouTube, was having an event in DC, we thought it would be the perfect opportunity and group of people to start our adventure with. After scrambling everything to get ready for DC, which is an eight hour drive for us, we realized that the hostel everyone had booked had already filled up and so we didn't know where we were going to stay while we were up there and had planned on just car camping. That's when the first positive sign came out of nowhere and one of the members of the Yes Fam DC said we could stay at his place. So we packed up and headed to DC knowing that at least we'd have one heck of an adventure. And right from the beginning one legend in particular showed us we were right. Enter a bay. And the start of a legendary weekend. Hey, my name is Doran, and we're about to go to the Yes Fam meetup and uh, meet a bunch of new people, so it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> the legendary hey! This man that saved our lives. Yo, Yo Alex. The Seraphim Angel has come down from the heavens to bless us with his presence. That's too much. And then yours truly. What up? <laughs> We started right away by driving to the first meetup spot and spent some time introducing ourselves and meeting the rest of the Yes Fam we'd be spending the weekend with. Hey I'm Laurel, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Abhay. Hello, Hello. Oh, I'm Laurel. Hi, I'm Laurel. Okay, so if you guys want to fill out a name tag yes. with your name, where you're from, that, I'm like, yes, can't yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rolling this whole time. Yeah. Woo! That's at the hip. Yeah. That is a seek his cover like couple. You love it. Oh my god, man. Stop. Rick and Morty look, stop it. What? I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. What? I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. No, no, no. Oh, this looks intense. I'm just hearing excuses about like the free you haven't eaten, it's cheaper. Tell him. Yes. If you haven't drink, if you haven't eaten today, I also need to be cheaper. more. I also need to be more careful. Are you driving? No. Then what? Then what's the excuse? I didn't know where they're going. Man, she is all ready. That's that's a yes for right there. And after we were all fully introduced to each other, there was really only one thing to do: go out for a night on the town. Call me a
night was enjoyed, but eventually everyone had to go home. Well, that is except for us. Abay wanted to show us one of the cool local spots that oversees DC. And of course, since we were on a Yes Theory adventure, we said yes. Some of the spots he took us to were absolutely incredible. From a giant water fountain to a little known pier that overlooks the entire city. The sight at night was absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, this is when tragedy befell us. Because I lost the keys to the car. Along with our cell phones being locked inside, the night took a turn for the hopeless. So I just lost my Hawaii tag, but everything else is replaceable. You lost your knife as well. No, my knife's in my pocket. I never put it back on. 1% 1% warrior. <laughs> and we somehow uh, got a locksmith called, gave him directions, paid it. What? 25, 30 minutes, they're going to be down here and they're going to make us a new key. So the loss is about 250 bucks <laughs> and uh, about an hour and a half of sleep, two hours to yeah. be to be fair. Other than that, uh, I think we are seeking discomfort in the best way. Bro, these guys are absolutely amazing. They literally are helping me out of the biggest freaking jam. I'm dumb, and as you know, I've lost my keys. And these guys, these guys just came out at like four something in the morning and are saving me. Like, and with, with only one phone having, with all the phone, with, the phone only having yeah, one percent. Yeah, with one phone having. <laughs> so these guys came out. So if you guys are in the DC area, you ever need a locksmith, just give them a call. They're amazing. The night was ours. And although we were exhausted, we felt like we won and went back to a base for a well-deserved night of rest before the next day's activities. After a well-deserved five hours of sleep, we woke up ready. Well, as ready as we could be. We are doing a scavenger hunt in Washington, DC. We already crushed the first clue. We actually figured it out by uh, Google, thank you, my friend. And it was under the dome of the Capitol where George Washington's first grave was supposed to be. But they moved it to Mount Vernon instead. Educational tidbits aside, we did have a strategy. We have a new strategy. We're gonna download the scooter apps and after this, we're gonna get ourselves some bird scooter and just crush out all of the tasks. Let's see what happens. However, first we met up with the rest of Team One and realized that there wasn't enough bird scooters for all of us to ride on. So instead, we rented bikes and we set off to find each of the clues set in our scavenger hunt. And although the bikes were much faster, we lost all but Abay, Dorian, and myself to the summer heat of DC. Now that it was just the three of us, and we had all decided that we'd seen the major monuments of DC, we decided that we would go straight for the Yes Theory style challenges that were included within the scavenger hunt as bonus points. These included inviting a stranger to the party later on tonight. Yeah, we're doing a tonight. What is it? At 11 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Playing ninja with a stranger. <laughs> Asking a stranger out on a date. So yeah, it would be crazy. Yeah, so we have that rave party tonight and tomorrow. Doing the Jack Sparrow run across the National Mall. <laughs> <laughs> <Keep going. laughs> and quite a few other out of the box things that definitely made you step outside of your comfort zone. Oh, 
in the end, we weren't first, but it felt like we all won anyway. When the day ended, we all met up at the Lincoln Memorial for another obligatory group shot. From here, we all split up to grab a bite to eat before we would regroup later on tonight. Dorian, Abe, and I decided we wanted to try something local, and since we were close to the Chinatown, we had to go with some homemade ramen with hand-pulled noodles. Whether it was because we were starving or because we knew that all the different people we invited to the ship garden that night would soon be arriving, we ate pretty quick and headed to the venue where we first started with some impromptu challenges for each of the teams that day and ended it with a rave. the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, jam to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad life. And then of course we couldn't forget another group shot before we called it a night. All right guys, so right now we are in the car going to the next Yes Theory event. And uh, we had a little bit of a mission when we came up here to, you know, chat it up with the Yes fam, you know, figure it out as we go along, get a name for our YouTube channel to at least, you know, start. So we're here with our boy Abe, and he, he came out with this name, we Step Out. Uh, and we are now registering it on YouTube, TikTok, and Gmail. The Gmail's take. The Bruh. Gmail's take. The idea of it is like step out your bubble, step out your comfort zone, step out your house, and go and live a little bit of that life that is only given, you know, a single one to all of us. Step out a little bit. We had certainly been stepping out of our comfort zone the entire weekend, and we certainly weren't going to let up now. So when we arrived at Cunningham Falls State Park, we made sure to start the day off with an epic water gun fight. Station. <laughs> Alright, I've confiscated your weapon. <laughs> We were having so much fun that, of course, we had to ask a stranger to join in on it. Hey, bro, hey. You want to blast somebody? <laughs> we spent the rest of the day hiking up and down Cunningham Falls while chatting to each other. We handed out the rest of our water guns to kids at the park and of course keeping with the theme we even got into an impromptu game of ultimate frisbee with two strangers we met in the park we didn't let up the whole weekend we made lifelong memories and lifelong friends and even though the morning hit us like a brick it was hard not to keep smiling <laughs> We went hard this weekend, and uh, everybody's just waking up now, getting all the stuff packed. And we're gonna go see if a bay is awake, which I think he is. There he is. He's awake, the legend. Thank you, brother, for letting us stay here. Oh my gosh, bro, more adventures to come. Oh. Sad. It's just, I've been on experiences with people when they've said no to some experiences which would, which would later become memories, but yes, this, is, this was definitely one of those trips in which we never just, we never said no. Like uh, when we were biking across DC, it was so damn hot, we didn't have, we actually ran out of water at one time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we didn't really stop. We just took a break and we just reset the entire thing. Uh, so, as we were getting to leave here at Abe's house, I couldn't help but to think, 
when the three of us together this weekend, we didn't say no to anything. Uh, we kept going, we did the time limits for every event. Um, we brought the water gun and uh, the adventure to day three. You know, we just absolutely killed it uh, from the beginning to the very end. And we were up till five in the morning most nights and uh, there <laughs> at nine, 10, uh, waking up most mornings to get ready for the next event. And I gotta say that the things that I've learned uh, were absolutely amazing. One of which being that there are other crazy individuals out there uh, like myself that seek discomfort. They have this propensity for adventure, this want to do more in their life. And uh, they're really masters of stepping out of their comfort zone, stepping out of their house, stepping out of their bubble. And I couldn't have been more blessed uh, to meet some of these other folks uh, in the Yes Fam. And a part of me knows that this is just the beginning. <laughs>